time. Good luck. Good. I'd like to call in order <clears throat> the Oil Oak Downtown Development Authority, November 20th, 2019 meeting. Um, this would be the time for public comment. If there's anybody who wishes to speak. Hi, George Gomez, 2018 Guthrie Avenue, Royal Oak. Uh, actually, I'm here just to uh, ask all of you or invite all of you to come to the Chamber Soiree uh, on December the 3rd. Uh, it's going to be in uh, downtown here in Royal Oak for you. And so I think that since you represent the business community, maybe you should interact a little bit with us at our party. So we appreciate that. So we'll be at Maury, uh, you know, and if any of you uh, would like, you can come as our guest. But we appreciate that and, and hope you all show up. And David, you can come too, by God. You oh, well, where did you say it was, Maury? Uh, yeah, Maurice, yeah, yeah, I was Maurice. Too far from my house. Yeah. <laughs> it's at uh, six o'clock, I think, on to nine. So uh, what we'll do is we'll send you out the invite. How's that sound? That's Perfect. well. Okay. Thank you, I wanted to jump Thank on you. and get to you. Thank you. And, uh, we'll welcome Thank the you. new uh, the newest member there. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Here, I like to pass these out before I start. Alan Ashley, president of Royal Oak Manor. Um, what I'm here to discuss is I would I know it's been approved, but I would like amendment to the Arts Beats and Eats contract. Now most of you know supposedly it's a four-day affair. It is not. It is a 12, 10 to 12 day affair. And it starts on the Sunday before. That means that the P8 parking lot, which is next to Oakland Mall, has to be emptied by 6 p.m because on that night, trucks were moved in. Monday, the P8, uh, the P7 and P3, which is behind Bar Louie and uh, 526 and Buffalo Wild Wings and P7, the main parking lot uh, between six and seven, have to be emptied by 6 p.m. So that means Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, there's all set up, which is fine. Thursday night, city comes through and they come down and they hang signs, say vendor parking on both sides of Williams, both sides of 7th, and, both, and one side of 6 between Main and Williams. That is on the east side of Main Street. Now what you have front is the highlighted thing. It says the city will allow uh, to find two blocks for vendors and parking. It does not say to park in front of Royal Oak Manor and on the side. What this does is it forces seniors to park on Knowles, which is two and a half blocks away, or park at the new parking garage at 11 Mile. And then we call the police department and they come and shuttle the seniors back and forth. Now to me, shuttling seniors back and forth by the police department is not a good use of the police department during those four days. Yet the city allow, and it only says two blocks, there is plenty of parking on the uh, west side of Main Street for two blocks to assign. What you do is not only you stop Royal Oak Manor patrons, to park there, you also park to stop the parents and grandparents of people living at Royal Oak Manor. So they can't find any place. The other problem is this year I wasn't hurt by it because I got permission from Mr. Randazzo, the developer at 222 6th Street, the empty parking lot across from the fire department. I parked all my cars there. If he starts construction like planned next year, I won't have that. So I have to have my people walk almost three blocks from the west back here or six blocks from 11 Mile for seniors. I've got some seniors that can walk a little bit, but I can't, don't have enough seniors that can do all that walking and then have to call the police department to shuttle during that height of p number of people downtown Royal Oak I would like to see it remembered that they only can park on the west side of Main Street and they can park south of Lincoln 
because it's our speeds and eats is blocked from Lincoln to 11 mile. They could have two and a half blocks or two blocks south. That would cover that agreement. But why force seniors out of their parking lot and their parents and grandparents to come and see them? It makes no sense. So I thank you for your time and please put it under your consideration for next year and have an amendment for city commission in the near future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Totally agree with him. Mm -hmm. I'd like to pass these out. I don't have enough, but maybe you can share. I can for share. Some we'll share. There's only I eight. think we can share. <laughs> Sure, Tom. Welcome to the new member, Jennifer. Um, Carol Hennessy, 258 East 12 My Road. Um, what I'm passing out are letters um, that uh, one that I did, and then uh, one from the Eagles, and one from um, the th uh, Three Star uh, Flag <coughs> DAR group that are part of the Memorial Society. And it's in reference to the Veterans Memorial. Mm -hmm. And I noticed on the agenda today it's going to be brought up, and I just hope that um, you go with staying where it's at and keep it with the star dream and the walkway because I think it's the best situation for everyone and especially the veterans and their families. And um, I've been trying to read, but when is the tree lighting going to be? Is that on the 14th? I think on the 14th, right? Or is the that? 14th. Good question. Because it's usually Can you answer that? at the it's beginning the of the month. Huh? Oh, it's on the 14th. It, oh, it is? Yes. Okay. After the parade. Oh, okay. What time is the parade? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. It's a night parade. It's a clove parade. <clears throat> it starts at the Lincoln and goes to Main Street. They'll be doing floats at war, and they'll come from war to Main Street and Main Street all the way up to 11 miles. Okay. Anything else, Carol? Are you confused with the farmer's market um, event? Well, yeah, I guess. They're separate. They're, they're, they're separate. Right. I, I knew that, but they usually had the tree lighting around the farmer's market event, and I didn't see anything posted on that, so That's why I was questioning it. But it's all going to be that same weekend Correct. then. Okay. And um, it's going to be after the parade. Correct. And uh, I guess that's all, but please keep your veterans in mind when you vote on this. And um, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. And I, oh, and I apologize that the letters are late, but my husband's been in the hospital for the past three weeks, so. Sorry to hear. But um, thank you. Thank you, girl. Happy to see you. Is there anybody else for public comment? No, Seeing none, we'll close public comment. Um, before we move down to item three, I just want to recognize our newest director at the table here. Um, I don't know if there's something you want to tell us. Uh, no, I'm just a proud citizen of Royal Oak, and uh, I'm excited to join the board. So, Welcome. Okay. Uh, moving on, uh, item number three, approval of meeting minutes from October 16, 2019. Move to approve. Support. And a motion and support. Any questions, comments, changes? No. Seeing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item number four, <coughs> expense items. Uh, a, monthly expenses. Um, this requires no action. This is for the board's information only. If there's any questions, we can address those. Anything? Nope. We nope. good? Nope. What does fun time add for community publishing? Sean. Community publishing? Is that a newspaper? Yes. Okay. Was a full page ad? In like the Royal Oak monthly thing, I think. 
Okay. We're good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, moving on. Uh, item number five, Laura Harrison requests. Tim? Is this informational? Sure. I'm sorry. Very briefly, the uh, Infrastructure Committee met on the 29th and discussed uh, an item that was uh, presented to the board previously uh, uh, from one of the downtown property owners. Uh, the request had two items in it regarding uh, the alley um, <coughs> west of the railroad tracks between 4th and 5th. One of those items was uh, a request that it be considered to reverse the direction of the one way. Uh, that was uh, discussed and ref suggested that uh, it be referred to the traffic committee by the the uh, uh, board. The other item was discussed at the uh, infrastructure committee was in regards to removing the parking spaces along the less west side of that uh, segment of uh, alley, driveway, roadway. It's really not right away. Um, uh, the infrastructure committee discussed it. They, they felt that the recommendation should be to have the requesting party uh, have all of the adjacent businesses and property owners sign a petition supporting or requesting removal of those spaces before uh, you proceeded any further. And secondly, you may want to consider that it wait until after all the developments are done in the area and a parking study is done to see what impact that may or may not have on um, parking in the area. So that's the infrastructure committee's review and recommendation if the board supports that. A simple motion supporting that recommendation would be uh, sufficient. I would move to support. I have something to say. I have one, one, one second, okay? Sure. I have a motion on the table. Second. I have a second on the table. Discussion. Okay. Uh, Who seconded it? Gary seconded it. Director. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Why are you Lord? upset that I have something to say? Because you know. No, Matt, he's shaking his head that I have something to say. Can you talk after the motion? Then? Okay. Um, we're good. Um, you have the floor. I just want to say I'm a business that is affected and I'm conflicted because I understand her her problem is the beer trucks go down that narrow alley and they block in all the parked parking spots. So it's different, you're trapped. But it's also a parking spot and every parking spot in downtown where I look is a sacred parking spot. So for me as a business owner, I kind of like those parking spots because my customers love them because they can park there and go to my back door and I can give them their, their wedding invitation. But as a person who uses the alley, I understand what she's saying that, that the beer trucks um, do take up the width of the whole alley, so it's complicated. Also, um, changing the direction flow makes no sense because you could never, uh, I'm familiar with that alley I drive every day, you couldn't go the opposite direction or truck and turn right because right. the city added right. those pedestrian, slow down traffic kind of barriers in the middle of the city. You could make, you couldn't make a right hand turn. Those, it would never, it goes opposite of the direction of the railroad tracks. It was just would not work. Um, my third point is that alley has a garbage issue and that's the more important thing in my issue with that alley is the business owners don't understand that you can't put your garbage out every single day unless you have a dumpster. So there's just garbage out almost every single day. So that's all I wanted to say. Oh. Okay. Well, that, I think, um, did you have something? Yeah, I, mean, I was just going to say, um, I, I, I agree with Director Glondon. I mean, that's, I think that's why I moved to approve this, is that I think it's a great idea to have the adjacent business property owners sign a petition requesting removal mm -hmm. so they can... Yeah, well, put them put into it. Right. right. Them determine. Yeah. 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 And, and actually, and, and the second point I think is even, even uh, more germane. You know, to wait until the uh, all the uh, developments are done and we get a parking study. Because right. I think, and I, I think all parking spaces, and particularly in the CBD outside the garages, are incredibly sacred now. Mm-hmm. So. Right. I agree. I, just on behalf of the infrastructure committee, when we discussed this, I I think. Um, we were just hesitant about taking any action right away. Right. Um, and we needed to do some more research into this, particularly with the business owners along that, that street, plus the, the changing of the, of the direction of the road certainly has to go before the traffic committee. And that's not right. our purview to be really even looking at that portion of it. Um, we can you know, ask them to look at it, but that's not a decision that we would make at this table. So. Um, 
depending on what the board wants to do, I think the, the, the resolution is appropriate. I agree. Okay, so we do have a motion. We do have a second. Is there any other discussion on this item? Seeing none, I'll call for the vote. Aye. All Aye. in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Okay, item number six, Stagecrafter Sponsorship Agreement. Um, the, the proposal was in front of the board at uh, your last meeting on October 16th. Uh, the board did uh, support a resolution uh, in the amount of uh, $12,500 for the items that were included in that proposal. Um, what's in front of you today is uh, the draft uh, agreement uh, between Stagecrafters and uh, the DDA. Uh, there, if you're still supportive of it, there is a suggested resolution w that would approve the agreement, uh, allow my signature to be uh, added to it, and uh, subject to any final revisions by the city attorney. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'll, I'll move the resolution. Okay. I have a motion on the table. I have a second. My director, Roswick, here. Um, I discussion. We, I think we discussed it at length last time, and I'm still in favor of it, so. Okay. Yes. Uh, just would indicate that the changes that I had a request of the agreement have already been made, so should okay. be good to go. I do have, uh, if nobody else has a question, I do have one quick question. Uh, Probably for Mr. Gillum. If this, this um, funding is broken up into five different categories here, if, if and I, I think we may have discussed this prior, and if I did, I, I apologize. But if one of these items does not take place, or if perhaps the stagecrafter were not to follow through on one of these, is there a remedy for this mm -hmm. in this agreement? Um, I believe it's all reimbursable items, um, so they would be paid out based on a reimbursement. Um, okay. So whatever they they didn't do, they wouldn't get paid for it. Okay. Yeah. And that, that that answers my question. I appreciate it. Okay. Any other discussion on this item? I'll call for the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item number seven, conceptual designs, downtown park. Uh, this item was also at your uh, October meeting. Uh, it was referred to the uh, infrastructure committee uh, to do a, a more complete review of the conceptual designs that were submitted uh, to the downtown uh, park task force. Uh, the infrastructure committee did review it um, and you do have a copy and uh, as soon as mine comes up anyways of the uh, uh, the big file um, of their recommendation uh, for the board's consideration of the various items uh, if it ever opens I'll <laughs> walk, yeah, walk the room I have a copy of it someone wants okay. it um, give me two seconds and Yep. <laughs> about five minutes at my computer. <laughs> yeah, there really is a recommendation. In um, it, there really is. Yeah. Really about that. Lori's got. A, I mean, Jennifer's got a hard copy. Yeah, I've got a hard copy. If someone would like it, then would probably want it. Must be. Yeah, so so this was. Is, um, so I never knew computer's that. Peter's not. There you go. I mean, yeah, it's the cover. Of course I did that. <laughs> yes. Six um, years of living with the touch screen. Uh, the committee looked at it on the 29th, um, and now it comes up. So we're all good. <laughs> Give it back. Okay. Uh, the, the available space, uh, what, they're, what they're suggesting is that uh, the available space is relatively small, um, so the park should not be uh, complex or feel congested. Uh, they're, they're suggesting that only that it only include a, a few important elements and that it be a simplified design with large open green space. In addition, uh, the important elements include a, a space for stage, uh, events, 
including the market plaza concept uh, from concept one, a play structure, the war memorial, lighting, and as part of the lighting, uh, enough electrical power uh, for holiday lights and the tree considerations. Uh, they're suggesting that it should not include any major slopes or hills that would limit or divide the park. Uh, they're also suggesting that the art sculptures could be included along pathways rather than having a dedicated space. Uh, could also be in space between the parking deck and the uh, Henry Ford uh, Health Systems building. Now you may recall that really wasn't uh, co contemplated on the concepts. It was kind of outside the design, but should be uh, included in the final design. Um, they did, the committee is also suggesting they don't take up space with restrooms and only included if there's not another off-site uh, place that can be found. Uh, and they thought the farmer's market was close enough uh, for that to eventually occur. So. Lastly, the committee would like to see a concept uh, with the War Memorial left in its current location and with some design that encompassed 360 around it so it was incorporated in uh, rather than all of the concepts uh, currently planned to move it. That was the committee's uh, uh, commentary and suggestions. And again, if the board has uh, other items or agrees with all of those, a resolution uh, accepting or modifying those would be appropriate. Director Riley. Um, I, I would, first of all, I'd just like to uh, commend the Infrastructure Committee. I mean, it's obviously it's, they spent a lot of time on this. And um, I, I couldn't agree more with every single item on here. I mean, it's, um, and that's why I'm not on the fresh committee because I never thought of these things. But I think, you know, we've been waiting forever for a park in the downtown area. And this, it, 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 should, it should be open. And this, every one of these elements, I think, is exactly what I think a lot of the people in the city are looking for and think of in a park. And, and, and the one thing is, is that, this, the space, I think, is smaller than, than, than we all think. It seems like it's going to be so big, but when you look at it, it's not that big. And so everything we can do to leave it open um, would be great, including the restrooms, you know, if at all possible. So. Yes. Uh, so I wasn't on the committee before this, but I've been a avid a participant of the charrettes and things. Uh, I agree that the... The outline that you've given is great. However, um, lots of citizens really want to to have this green space different than a park, um, than a normal park. Um, I would agree that this becomes a pinnacle of our downtown, um, and incorporating the Henry Ford building and even the alleyway on the other side that is between Main Street and Henry Ford is probably a good idea if possible. I don't know if that's a different plan altogether, but um, but um, when most citizens sat through charrettes, I will say that they wanted this um, space to have more architectural design to it that included slopes and included some maybe um, terraces and things like that. So um, I would, I, I I would uh, hope that we could come up with something that um, that helps our our own our own neighbors and community want to be involved in the park as well, and not limit that. But I also agree that it is supposed to be a pinnacle space for events that highlight Royal Oak. So I I think we we should listen in part to our uh, to the base that that lives here too right. uh, just a reminder uh, so this will just be a recommendation that will be coming from okay. us um, yeah. it, it, when it goes to the park committee they're the ones that are actually going to um, be tearing it apart and True. looking at it and <laughs> True. Uh, probably adding elements and taking out elements and everything else too. And then I'll remind everybody that we do have a representative uh, on the park committee that sits on our board, Director Krieger. So um, he will be able to uh, 
share what we've what we've discovered up to this point. Um, my only comment to what you said, uh, Director Osbeck, is, is that we were, I, I think from the inf infrastructure's point of view, we were worried um, in terms of the way that the concepts were designed. Um, the slope look, the one slope looked like it took up a, a, a vast space. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, until you really stand on this space, you don't realize right. how small it really is. It's not going to be a big, vast park like we're going to have over at Normandy Oaks and everything else. So, um, so that was part of our consideration right. during the discussion. So, any other comments on this or anything else? Um, I just want to just piggyback on, on what you were saying. So we get that, and, you know, I think the park will want to have some kind of topography to it, but, you know, the one, you know, they, they gave us three different concepts, right, and they're all different, and they did that intentionally so we could react to them. And the one where, like, the no slopes came from was really from the concept there as you were on the northwest side, it sloped up to the point where you could walk into it. And we just thought that that was, uh, you know, it really blocked sight lines and it would make the park feel smaller. And if you're walking from Main Street to the park, you're not confronted with the bathrooms. That's what they had. So that's where we're trying to give them some design direction or ideas to tone it down just a little bit. But but we still want to make sure that everybody's being taken into consideration. Yeah. No, I think and I think you bring the War Memorial yep. into consideration, which is what. Yeah, is a absolutely. I mean, you know, that was something we want to see as another option, leaving it where it is, and how can they treat that in order to respect the War Memorial. So. Okay, so I will be looking for a motion to forward this recommendation. I'm going to assume it goes to the Park Committee. Yep. So move. Motion by Director Baglio, second Board. by Director Riley. Any other discussion? I'll call for the vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Okay. Uh, item number eight. Contract for landscaping and maintenance services. Uh, this again was at your um, October meeting in terms of uh, a recommendation from the infrastructure committee. Uh, and the contract is put together based on your action at that meeting uh, to authorize a three-year uh, contract uh, to purchase additional hanging uh, flower baskets uh, and bring it back uh, for your approval of that actual contract at this meeting. Uh, there is a suggested resolution approving the three-year contract and authorizing uh, 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 my execution of that. But I would remind it's a three-year contract. The first year of the contract is 300, approximately 373,000. Uh, that that includes the acquisition of the additional uh, flower hanging baskets. Uh, the next second year is a little more than uh, 359,000, and then the third year is uh, 368,000. Includes a slight bump in uh, in the uh, fees. Uh, if you're happy with the agreement, there is a suggested resolution uh, approving it. I just have a question. Yes. Um, B on Part B of this agreement is that three million or three hundred thousand? Three hundred thousand. Okay. It's read, written as three hundred. Is three million? Don't <laughs> okay. worry if you would love that. <laughs> Sorry. With comment, no comma. You're right. No, I just. Okay. Make sure that was correct. Uh, That's why they signed it so quickly. <laughs> Any other discussion regarding this? I. Uh, so I think I missed a meeting. Um, but we're we're adding baskets and we're eliminating the drums. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, all of the drums. Well, we did talk about repositioning. Repositioning and, and some of the ones that were on the corners, the bigger. Planters, and we weren't talking about those. Okay, um, it will. It, I'm in favor of, of doing all this stuff. However, I, I would like some extra input as to the design of what they do. Um, several years in a row, there have been some flower designers that have contacted me via Facebook regarding. I don't think anything looks horrible down here, but we could do things a little bit better. Um, one of the ideas 
and I think I brought it up last year, was all of the baskets on one street should be one color, not multicolor. Red, purple, whatever. It adds a punch to the street, whereas a multicolor fades into the background. So I'd like to see them do that on, you know, I'd like to talk to them privately about that. Additionally, the, the larger boxes that around the trees on the corners, the different wildflowers that are in there, there's no rhyme or reason to it, and it, it doesn't look as good as it could if there was some sort of height in the middle surrounding the tree and then one type of floral around it, some sort of a design. Right now it's just a hodgepodge, and it looks like they're just putting in whatever they have left over from some of the other areas. And, and, and down at... Um but when they do the flowers down at 696, they stay in form. They're not hodgepodge. And they're beautiful. It's good. They're, it's That's a, a great point. Down there. I think That's a what, great point. What's left is what's brought really to the larger boxes. <laughs> just left over. And I wouldn't be opposed to it just being one type of, you know, <laughs> floor. Yeah, but there are people that six 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 work, six work, six work six downtown in, in Royal Oak that do that for a living. I would like to get them involved in a small subcommittee to work with Worry Free on some sort of a design before they start planting for the next season, if that's okay. Without objection here, I mean, I don't know. Well, they, I think they, what we should probably do is send this back to her. No, you can I, approve I said the we contract. Approve the yeah, contract. Yeah, yeah, I see no problem with this. Yeah. And then send it back to our infrastructure for a little bit more, and if we, we can bring Worry Free in to the meeting, for the infrastructure meeting. And if there's other people that we want to participate, that would probably be the best venue. Well, they do, do they do submit a planning plan every year that's forwarded on as far as what their, their intent is to plan at the various locations and in the, in the baskets. And that can be shared with the committee and, and critiqued. Some of it has to do with availability of those plant materials. So I think we can do that, continue to do that on an annual basis, but they do they do give a plan out, whether it's followed specifically or some of them are varied a little bit, they do provide one. I think when, um, <clears throat> years ago, uh, Director Bagley, weren't you, like, you walked the whole area, if I'm not mistaken, and you just, you had where the planners went, and it was really well designed, and where, where, where what would go where, what was up, what was down, what was going in it? If you're willing to do it, I'd, I'd be all in support of I'm happy to do it. Yeah. Having some input, I think that's a great idea. I mean, again, I have no the design ability whatsoever, but I know when I come in off of, <laughs> off of, this, off of 696, it looks great, right, right you know, on the yeah. median there. Again, it, it, the, the baskets don't look bad now, no. but you will notice a big difference if they're all the same. And, and the idea of, 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 of being steady on one street and changing the yeah. I love that idea. Yeah. Is this been motion? Has there been a motion? No, uh, we need. We still need a motion to approve the contract. I am a motion to approve. I'll second. Second by Director Krieger. Any other further discussion? No. Nope. Call for the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. Um, other business and reports, Tim. Nope, just information on the sale of the property uh, and your portion of the proceeds. Okay. Um, I do have two things I would point out, though, if nobody else has anything. I, I had one thing. Uh, one, one real quick thing. On, on the, um, um, the winter goal, um, uh, and again, I, I preface this by saying I'm not on any social media, but I'm, I'm, I'm still a little concerned about the um, promotion of the event and whether people <coughs> know about it. Um, and, and again, I, I'm not on social media, but uh, because I live in the area, I got a notice from the police. And this is the only thing that I've seen that calls, and it doesn't really, I mean, it's not supposed to, it's just telling me the hours of when everything is shut down. That's when, that's why I asked what time the parade was. Um, are we, I mean, are we doing anything, I know we're not doing anything over the street. Are we, what, 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 do, does anybody know what we're doing for promotion? I, I don't. Um, that's, can I, do you mind if I speak? Well, can, can I ask a question to, to the audience? Do, do you guys know the dates and the times? 
it's in that letter if you read it it's in the top the, po the police letter yeah. but I'm saying outside of that no that and the I reason the reason we got that is because we live in the area well I got it because I live in Royal Oak Manor right and I got it because I live in the Manor that that was the reason I got the letters because right but, 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 you, but you, you haven't picked it up anywhere else. that, that concerns me until we got I saw on Facebook the 14th and the 15th but well you young people are on social media <laughs> not on <that. laughs> I'm 73 I, I love you uh, um but it just said the parade, you know, the lighting, lighted parade and stuff like that. And that's why I didn't know about the, the tree lighting. So yeah. I will, I'll, I'll let you know that the... Julie tomorrow. George, what's that? I'll send an email to Julie tomorrow and ask her what she's, the what high, she's done. The high school students know about it because the band is in it, okay. the parade. But, but, but if they, if they but were... That's about it. Okay, they're, they're, that, that, that concerns me. That concerns me. Are we, are we, and how do we, do we talk to Julie? Is that what we're doing? Well, it's Julie's event, yeah. so it's yeah. not your it's not your event. No, I know, I know, but but but, but, but well, what is motion. that? Yeah, okay. But, um, it was a, it was announced in regards to people are interested in bringing or participating uh, really in the floor. Yeah. It is on the city website. I see it on Facebook and Instagram every single day. Okay, but again, if you're not on cookie, social media, the cookie yeah. tins are almost sold out. I think there are no posters. You're right. I mean, she I've noticed posters. there's no posters. Well, well, and then, yeah, and then again, you know, I, I don't know what percent are on social media. Just you know, maybe us, should be us technologically bankrupt people. Plus, there's carriage rides yeah. in there, yeah. and where the event is on Third Street. It's in there unless you read that letter. That's actually sold. Letter. That's almost sold out too. Yeah. So the carriage rides. Carriage rides would be nice, but nobody knows about them. Plus the. No, they do. They're okay. sold out. They they're they're sold out. I think okay. So. All right. Let me get. Uh, let me bring this back to the table here. <laughs> so let me bring so back to the table here. We'll, we'll talk to Joe and just so we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully uh, let me try and gather this in here. We'll we'll try and get an update from Julie to see if she has any anything for us that we could share. We've got time. I mean, we really do. Is the carriage rides are sold out. No, 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 I understand. The cookie cr uh, tins. Cookie tins. They're almost sold out. a handful left. And, and, and with, with, with all due respect, um, you know, the last couple of things that we've had in the downtown haven't been particularly well attended. They're not um, all our events or anything like that. It's just that and, and, and the promotion has been a little lacking. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. So, and, we, and we've got the time. Mm -hmm. So what's it? To knock it out. It's late yeah. this year, so that's good. Okay. Oh. Um, anything else? Did you want to add anything? No. Okay. okay. Um, no, Tim had a couple things. Uh, one item, just any of you that are interested, to, uh, English Gardens is done and putting the holiday lights up. Uh, for the board members, if you want to do a walk around with them, you're more than welcome to. I can send you an email with the time and location of where they're going to start. Um, but if you're interested, they're, they're done and they're going to flip them on. And so they'll be on after that walkthrough. Quick question on that, on the, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember. On, on, on the light poles, the garlands look great. Are, are there lights on those at all? Yeah. Oh, that's going to look great. It's going to look really They look real, I mean, I can't wait. And I walked here at dusk and, it, and I turned around and I thought one of them was lit and it was, it was a reflection off the bulbs. Of the, of the ornaments. Will it, when will the walk through be soon? I'll send you an email tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Not committing, committing to that. <laughs> no, I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> it does look great, though. Did, did any other. Did, oh, did uh, yeah, I, I would like to recognize and congratulate Director London. Everybody knows she has the, one of the coolest stores in Royal Oak, Right Impressions, and she just celebrated her 30th anniversary. So that's oh, also quite an accomplishment, and congratulations. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. That was yeah, very sweet. I had to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. That was tied up. Yeah, you didn't come. <laughs> Anybody else have anything they would like to bring up to the board today? No. Seeing none, uh, Dr. Krieger? <laughs> motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> we have a motion to adjourn. Second by Director Yasmik. Any discussion? Nope. Call for the vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned.